In this video, I'm just going to introduce the physical layer. So let's take a look. So again, looking at our OSI model here, we can see that the physical layer is the lowest layer of the OSI model, layer one. Okay, this is the, uh, the layer that is responsible for actually converting the bits, tra transmitting those bits physically over the wired or wireless medium. All right, let's get through the next slide here. Okay, the physical layer. So, physical layer media. Let me get rid of that. There we go. So, as far as wired media, there's different types of cables that can be used. Okay, we can use uh, copper cable, and this is very common in uh, Ethernet and even in, in, in serial interfaces as well. Uh, most of your Ethernet connections nowadays, at least between the device and the Ethernet switches, are copper cables. We'll talk a little bit more about those when we get into Ethernet. Uh, fiber optic. So uh, fiber optic cables actually use patterns of light or wavelengths of light to represent the bits. Copper cable uses electrical pulses or voltage levels to represent the different the different bits. Remember, this is all about, we're going to talk about this in a moment here, but it's, bits are all represented by a zero or a one. We'll talk more about that when we get into binary and if you're not already familiar with it. But how do you convert those zeros and ones to some kind of physical signal that can be transmitted? And there's also wireless. Wireless are signals or, pat or patterns of microwave transmissions. Wireless frequencies. Okay, let's get rid of that. Go on to the next slide here. Okay, so the uh, physical layer standards. So as you can see here, the physical layer, we have uh, these different standard organizations here. ISO, EIA, TIA, ITU, ANSI, IEEE. Uh, these are the ones that you'll see involved in any physical layer standards. For example, Ethernet is in IEEE 802.3 and also an 802.2 standard. Wireless is IEEE 802.11, IEEE 802.11. And we talked about some of these other standard organizations earlier. All right. Okay, so here's showing some of the uh, different standard organizations and what their what their uh, uh, some of the things that they do. Okay, ISO, EIA, TIA. You see EIA, TIA uh, involved in uh, cabling standards, also rack mounts. Uh, things like that. Um, uh, the ANSI has to do with uh, some of the stuff with cabling and the RJ45 pinouts co-developed with EIA, TIA. And as we mentioned previously, uh, IEEE is involved a lot with the actual protocol standards, uh, both at the layer one and layer two level. So uh, encoding and or line encoding, this is actually the method of converting a stream of data into a predefined code. So up here we see some actual uh, different encoding techniques and I won't go into the details of this. There was a time uh, when I used to teach data communications and we used to go into uh, in, uh, encoding and even signaling at some detail. But what I want you to notice here is that we have a stream of, of bits up here, zeros and ones. And what encoding or line encoding is all about is how to represent those zeros and ones uh, as an, uh, over, over the medium, code them somehow. And these can be voltage levels and different things, but not encoding isn't really concerned about what it physically looks like, but how we're going to code it. Now you can see that these ones and zeros, depending upon the the different encoding scheme, NRZ, which is non-return to zero, and there's different flavors of that, or 
biphase or bipolar, uh, that you can see that how they transition between a zero and a one differs on the encoding technique. And that's what encoding is all about. It's how do we trans transition between a one bit and a zero bit or a series of one bits to a series of zero bits. Signaling, on the other hand, is how we actually physically uh, uh, represent those bits as it goes over the wired or wireless medium. What kind of voltage level do we use? What kind of frequency do we use? What kind of wavelength do we use? Okay. And uh, I'm not going to go into any more detail on the physical layer. Uh, please read your, the uh, chapter information on, on the physical layer and the different types of cables and that, but uh, uh, that's as much detail as we're going to be going into with these videos.